Wingate Park Wolves are amazing. They spent the last month learning and growing with lots of different project-based learning units and then celebrated that learning with family and friends for our second STEM showcase. I hope you enjoy. Yes. Hello, Tara. Here's your guest. Some call him Caleb. Here's your guest. Here's your guest. Here's your guest. What do you make for your Special Olympic project? I don't know. A cane. What else did you make? A sticker. A map. What did you like about the STEM showcase yesterday? The third graders coming over and I got to talk to them. I got to leave her in my mom and dad's room. did you learn about? Turkey, Jamaica. What did you learn about your country? I learned that two million people live there. And I learned that they have small streets that are made out of bricks and not like smooth pavement. And what did you like best about the STEM showcase? I like best that like, I showed them how to log on to the culture gram. It was because my dad, um, he came for me and Luca. Gianni, what was your favorite part about the PBL? learn about frogs? That the um, Amazon horn frog has no known predators and it eats anything that can fit in its mouth. And that the water honey frog eats the same species. Could either one of your frogs live in the Wingate Park ecosystem? The water honey frog cannot live in the Wingate Park ecosystem because their predator, the larger lizards, do not live here and are going to be overpopulated and they're going to starve with um, hunger. And the Amazon horn frog can't live at Wingo Park because um, it has no known predators and Wingo Park doesn't have big animals so it will eat everything and go out of control. And what was your favorite part of the STEM showcase? That we were reading to the kindergartners and they were learning new things. And that um, my mom came and listened to my book and other kindergartners class that they asked questions about frogs and to learn more about it. How erosion works and what does it do? 
like how you can see how land just cracks and falls in many different ways, where it's away, and you have to always be careful because the earth can always be changing. I learned that um, trees' roots stabilize the soil and help prevent erosion so that um, the earth can kind of keep its shape and also turf type tall fescue is a, is a deep rooted grass that also helps prevent erosion in erosion prone spots. What was your favorite part about the STEM showcase yesterday? My favorite part was presenting to all the people that came to my station and the kids. And I like presenting too, but I also did like seeing what other people learned. Because they didn't just do like the roads and the weathering and all that stuff. They did like countries, like a bunch of science experiments and it was really cool. working on severe weather project-based learning units. What did you learn? I learned a lot of safety tips from all the PBL project, projects about weather. And the STEM showcase yesterday, what was your favorite part? Um, I liked how we presented to the second graders and then the second graders presented to us. trap I start with the floor then I put these things I put all it all over and even make a door I put six and straws well to make a protective